of video tutorials by Andrew Buckle. In this tutorial, I'm just going to show you how you can use the art history brush to create some interesting sketch designs. Now, first thing to do, just go over to the art history brush, and there's the art history brush. Might be in a different position depending on your Photoshop CC 2015.5 customizations, but you need the art history brush there. Set the brush size to about four, very small, and go for normal, opacity, and loose medium. There's a number of settings, tight medium, they're all pretty good tight, loose, loose long. I'm just going to go for loose medium and zero and zero for tolerance. For the brush settings, you've got the brush over here, you just find it obviously at window and brush, just set the shape dynamics, just click there, just got a bit of jitter there, and color dynamics, hue jitter, saturation jitter, just a little bit on those, and I've set the purity right over to the side so it's fairly colorful. You turn go all the way back, it makes it more black and white. Okay, now, once you've just done that, select over here the image. You want that's the key thing, otherwise it just won't work. So just set select there. It's a little column of states. You can select that. So obviously, if you've got maybe 30, 40, 50 different uh, commands there, you can select one of those. But I'm just going to go for the flattened image. So that image there, and then just apply the brush. Just go over, and you can see straight away. You can apply it locally, so you can you don't have to touch the other side of the image. So you can. You can just go, say, maybe more in the, the lips there, or maybe on the hair. So you can just sketch over there and go over there, and then sketch around the eyes. So if you want to make a really sort of strong, you know, now you can, of course, stop. You can then go and set, like I say, you can just go and set the purity. Just put that down there, and then you can see what you get more sort of black and white, grey sort of coming through. And that going over the thing. So you just do that. And there, quick sketch. Of course, you can then apply effects, maybe just go over to filter oil paint. And then you can, of course, continue. It's still got that state over here, just that still selected. So then you can just see, you can just add that on top of that sketch and just continue like that. Of course, you can apply different brushes. You don't have to go with the same brush. You can go with maybe your own sort of, maybe a star design or circular design and so on and so on. There's a whole range of different brushes you can use. Just modify those. Now, once you've actually done that, then you could stop at that point. But what you can do is, instead of using the image here, you can actually just go edit and fill. So I'm just going to remove that. I'm just going to set that to wipe. Click OK. And I've still got the art history there. So now what you can do, just go under this image. And you can then just sketch over the area you want to do. Or you can go over the whole thing. And you can just where you obviously remember where the, the eye is over there and over there so you can just just rapidly sketch in and this is just rapidly creating thing and of course you can vary this again purity you can just change the colors so you can make some areas part of it more colorful like that the eye maybe make that more colorful again and there And there you have it, very quick and simple. Now, what you can, of course, do, you can actually then turn around and say, well, what I'm going to go for is instead of that, I'm going to put the art history here. So I can actually now, I'm going away from the image, obviously the original image, but I've still got this image here. But I'm using this art history brush at this point. So at this point, I'm going to be using this, this image here as the source. So then I can just go edit, fill, and then, it will follow that. So you can create even more abstract designs. Again, whoops, don't want that to come up. And again, it's still very much the face, but you can see the actual image. And again, you can go off to modify purity, go back to a more black and white image there. You don't have to, of course, add all that over there. Just add this side. So if you want, say, the face to be stronger over that, you can do that. So there you have quick image there. And then, of course, you can apply effects, oil paint again, just right there. And again, go back to it and continue. It's still got the art history brush on that sort of sketch. You don't have to stop there. You can actually then go back and say, well, actually, I prefer the oil paint there. Again, this is the key thing. Don't click on up here. You want to click on this side bit. So just click there and you can continue to paint and draw with that art history brush just there and you can create 
thousands of different very rapid sketches just using the arts history, using that thing. I hope you found this of interest. Thank you much.